It's been a source of debate in the North Bay. Should a pedestrian bike lane on the Richmond San Rafael Bridge open back up to drivers? Each weekday, 80,000 cars cross the span. Compare that to 140 bikers on weekdays and about 370 bikers on the weekends. But the trial period is now over, and the future of the third lane is now in limbo. Kate Choi has more on what could be next. For Mike Vance, cycling to work from San Anselmo to Alameda became possible when in 2019, a new bike pedestrian path opened on the Richmond San Rafael Bridge. I ride it twice a week, and my commute is 60 miles round trip. The four year pilot project for the path has come to an end. For pedestrians and cyclists, they're hoping to keep it as is. The biggest misconception is that we're taking away a lane, and it's not. It's a breakdown lane. Drivers and transportation officials say the absence of a breakdown lane or shoulder lane westbound has lengthened wait times when there's a collision or breakdown incident, especially during the morning commute. Nick Hammer is a custom cabinet installer who drives across the bridge almost daily. Even a simple stall will add like a two hour delay in my commute. Uh, and that seems a little ridiculous. With the bike ped path in place, uh, it, it takes a little bit longer. Um, to clear incidents. What's unclear is how much longer those wait times are. The MTC expects more data in the coming year. John Goodwin is with the Metropolitan Transportation Commission. It was congested before the bike ped path was established and it's congested now. The MTC is proposing the bike path become a shoulder lane Monday through Thursday to address concerns from cycling commuters and drivers too. The plan also includes removing the toll plaza by the end of 2025 or 2026 to alleviate congestion. If it doesn't eliminate congestion, it will make a significant improvement. Transportation officials say they'll be assessing whether incident clearance times improve under the new plan. Getting rid of it is a step back, not a step forward. Closing the bike path for most of the week wouldn't work for commuters like Vance. Many drivers believe it could help in the daily battle against traffic. So according to a poll by the Bay Area Council, 80% of voters in Richmond want a third lane for cars on the bridge.